So this is a presentation of the new and upcoming features of this Multiplay 1.1. Uh, Multiplay is a control application to manage and control content on all the screens that you have in a studio, either uh, controlling individual Viz engines that play out content, or it can be controlling also a video wall, which is one of the new great features in uh, Multiplay 1.1. So in the Viz Multiplay, uh, we can prepare a rundown of content going to air. Uh, for instance, the rundown I have here is uh, on, the, on the top left here. It can either be uh, created using Multiplay itself, so we can create a new story, uh, story three, uh, and then search for content. Uh, for instance, I can search for uh, photos and videos in our Viz1 server, and uh, then I can bring in content coming from this one server and drag it into the content uh, area here, which is one line per channel that it controls. So each line here would either be uh, a dedicated SDI output coming from one single Viz engine, or if you're using a video world configuration, these can be virtual channels uh, dynamically uh, displayed on a video wall. So let's go back to story one, where I have some content already prepared. Uh, I also have a new bar up here, which is our shortcut bar in this multiplay. And uh, this is a generic shortcut bar, which is available at all times. So it is not linked to the different stories. So when you jump between the stories, uh, the shortcuts, they stay always available for the operator. And I can basically collect any type of graphics items here. Let's change the background on our video wall, for instance. Uh, and also, we have a new preset uh, control mechanism that allows me to bring in this content in different configurations dynamically on the wall. Uh, so when I click on these different presets, it will change the layout dynamically. And uh, it can be any type of preset. And these presets are easily editable using uh, the system itself. So let's take a look at what it takes to create a new story uh, and bring some new content into Multiplay. First, we create a new story over here. And uh, let's make a uh, story about uh, the Eiffel Tower in Las Vegas. Paris Vegas is the name of a story. I have some video footage, which is normal DVC Pro 100 MXF wrapped content. I can bring this into my this one server by just simply dragging it into my import folder. And now the Viz1 server will create a proxy and thumbnail so that I can search and find uh, my videos. So when I go to my search here now and search for Paris, I will be able to find my video clip. And I can drag this either straight onto uh, a destination or I can prepare it as a channel one clip. And uh, uh, it will sit there and wait for the operator to take it uh, to air. But in addition to the video clip, we also want to have uh, some images. Um, and uh, we can bring in new images, for instance, by just going to Google and search for Paris, Vegas, and find something appropriate. Uh, for instance, this one. It's not a super high res image, but let's take this one. And I'll just put it on my desktop for now. And then maybe look at this one. and. Um, as you can see, this is a portrait mode uh, still picture, um, which will show one of the nice features of Multiplay, which allows us to put any aspect ratio content straight into any of the channels. And it will always make sure that it gets letterboxing correctly and look, looking nice uh, on air. Um, so in addition to our search, uh, uh, where you would have content that you want to keep for a long time, we also have this inbox functionality. And the inbox is for breaking news items. So if I want to have something quickly in there, I have a shortcut to my this multiply inbox on my, on my desktop. It's just a folder. And anything that I drag into my folder would be uh, showing up in my inbox. So now we see that we have our inbox images here. And uh, I can prepare this one now maybe in channel 2. Uh, so let me bring in all of these as channel 2 images. And I have my uh, video clip as channel one. I can start my video clip. And we can see that it starts playing. And then I can show it on my video wall. So now we see uh, the Eiffel Tower video clip running on the screen. And um, if I trigger one of these uh, still pictures, you would see that it gets a nice uh, letterbox showing the, back place, uh, the background uh, scenes uh, behind it. So if I trigger, for instance, this one, 
you will also see that it shows up nicely and you can do dissolves between images. And while it's showing like this in channel one and two, I can trigger another preset, bringing it up to channel one and two in this preset here. And by the way, the operator can also preview a proxy version of the videos. So if I go to my preview tab, I can see uh, the H.264 version of the high-res material that was uh, generated by the Viz1 server. So this Multiplay runs in a browser, so it makes it possible to run the application anywhere you want. You can also run it on a machine with a touchscreen, which makes it very easy to operate for the different uh, operators. So I can now click on the screen to trigger these different presets of the video layouts. I can bring content from any uh, of the elements onto the screen by simply pushing buttons like this. It's super easy and super fun. So this is how this Multiplay runs when you don't have an existing uh, infrastructure for Viz from VizRT. However, there are many integration points. Um, for instance, the rundown that we're looking at on the screen can come from a newsroom system where you can uh, populate the stories being normal MOS-based stories from our pilot ActiveX plugin in, in all the different uh, newsroom uh, systems. And uh, you can then use the pilot uh, um, plugin to search for videos, to populate real-time graphics, and uh, to search for stills, of course, and also pre-assign the channels, and they would automatically appear on the right channel in the multiplayer user interface.